What if you could get better at riding mountain bikes without riding mountain bike trails? Say what? If you're like me, you don't have mountain bike trails in your backyard. It takes time and effort to get there. It's hard to improve your bike skills when you only get to ride once or twice a week at best. So today I'm gonna teach you how to get better at riding mountain bikes without mountain bike trails. Let's go for a ride and I'll show you what I mean. So the first place we're gonna practice today is this parking lot. And what makes parking lots so great is not only is there a ton of room to roll around, but there's also all these painted lines on the ground. We're gonna use those for our skills and drills. You can practice almost any bike handling skill with this single painted line from front wheel lifts to the pendulum. Let's do a quick rundown. Balancing down the line, wheelbase, pendulum, clocks, hopping down the line, hopping a full wheelbase, hopping over and back. That's just off the top of my head with one single line, but you can also start connecting these lines, trying to do the wheelbase drill between the two. Also, all the drills that we're talking about today have their own specific video on this channel. So if you see something that doesn't look familiar, dive into the description below and you'll get all the information you need to dial it in. Okay, flat lines are fun and all, but I feel like I could do this just about anywhere. Let's take it up a level and go to the next spot. This is one of my most favorite curbs to ride because it has a flat top where I can actually ride off the top of it as well as up onto it. See, curbs are handy for all kinds of different things, but what I like them for most is pedal timing. Pedal timing is when you build up a library in your head of how early you need to start pedaling to get the wheelie off or onto that obstacle. So we can start here with the wheelie drop motion, then turn around and work on pedaling up and lifting our back wheel. You can also work on hops in basically every direction. And I also like to practice riding off the curb as slow as possible. You can session this curb for hours if you really wanted to, but let's move on to the next spot. Stairs are an incredibly overlooked tool for practicing your bike handling. Most people just rip down the stairs and continue on, but there is so much more to work with here. One of the best ways to improve your bike balance is to ride slow, but it's not that exciting or fun to ride down a mellow hill or even on flat ground at the slowest possible speed. But things get interesting when you get to a set of stairs. So when you find a set of stairs, try to ride down as slow as you possibly can and then go even slower and even slower. This is a great way to max out your bike balance. We're not done with the stairs though. There's so much more that we could do here. The next thing we're gonna focus on is using the stairs to practice our wheel placement. Start at the bottom of the stairs and try to hop your way up all the stairs. Now, if you struggle with this sideways hop, try to put your front wheel a stair or two above your back wheel and hop up diagonally. This makes it a lot easier. One thing I wanna double highlight here is that we need to start at the bottom of the stairs and go up the stairs. If you start at the top of the stairs, especially when you're learning and you have a tumble, it's not gonna end well for you. So definitely start low and work your way up as you get more confident. If you really wanna work on some advanced skills on this staircase, you could work on your pivots. And that means you put your front wheel on the first step and you pivot on that front wheel to bring the back wheel up onto the same step. Now remember that we use our back foot, our back pedal to guide that back wheel into place. So you're gonna to wanna to go toward your front pedal side so that you can utilize that back pedal to keep moving the back wheel into place as you go up. I can't wait to show you the next spot. It's one of my favorites. Let's go. One of the best parts about riding around the neighborhood is finding little spots that you can use to practice your skills. For example, this spot here is perfect for me to practice my pedaling up and over obstacles, which is something I love to do. Now your ledge might not be the same height as mine, but you could start find a ledge that's a little bit smaller and practice that pedaling up and onto it. Get your pedal timing right and all that because what it mimics is big obstacles in the trail like rocks and logs. And again, you don't have to start at this height. Find something that's maybe a little bit bigger than a curb and start pedaling up onto that. It's a great place to start and a new way to challenge yourself when you're out riding. You know, one of the most important lessons from today is actually what separates good riders from great riders. I've ridden with pro riders for the last two decades and the one thing that I always spot between the riders that are the best is that they're always trying to session every little thing from point A to point B. They're not just waiting until they get to the spot to ride, they're riding every single thing in between. And that's exactly what we've done today. We found every possible thing that we could practice on to make ourselves better at riding, and that stuff adds up over time. I think that's what it comes down to. If you wait until you get to the trail to practice, you're missing a ton of opportunities. It doesn't matter what neighborhood you live in, there's always something to ride, and that's the best part. 